Hey everyone, what's going on? It's Stephen from the channel Handsome Smiles. Thank you for joining me on a review. Today I'm going to be doing a review of a fragrance. It's from the house of Rich Ledori, the ultra niche, ultra indie uh, fragrance house. And the one I'm reviewing today is Siberian Musk. Uh, this is from their first ever collection. And this one was released in 2017. Uh, he originally released three from his first collection, uh, which was Siberian Musk, which I'm reviewing today, Ottoman Empire, and Oud Zen. So Siberian Musk, as I said, was released in 2017. It's classified as a woody sheepra. Uh, the nose behind the scent is the founder of the fragrance company, and that is Russian Adam. Uh, you may also know him as the co-founder of another company called Feel Oud. Uh, Feel Oud, uh, they sell basically Oud oils, and Russian Adam, along with his uh, business partner and friend Botnikov, they own Feel Oud and distribute and uh, distill Oud themselves. Uh, Bortnikov as well, he is known for the fragrance house of Bortnikov uh, who also sell very high quality natural niche level fragrances. So that was the background regarding Siberian Musk. Uh, let's just run through the note breakdown that I've got here on this card and then I'll give you guys my experiences of the scent. I'll talk you through where I feel it's best worn in terms of seasons and occasions, uh, give you an idea of the sort of performance I've got on my skin and then my final overall rating. So Siberian Musk, uh, which I worked through on a sample, uh, completely finished now. Uh, so at the top we're going to get Italian bergamot and lime. Uh, we're going to get Indian mandarin, Siberian smoky pine, freshly coast distilled hydrosol from exotic fruits and citruses. The heart of the fragrance is a masqueration from legally obtained wild Siberian deer musk grains. Uh, so musk is derived from a deer. Uh, this specific type of deer is from Siberia and he mentions that he's got them legally. Uh, there's a specific type of musk deer, uh, I believe it's from Kashmir, from the Indian subcontinent, which I believe is now an endangered species and you're not allowed to hunt them. So perfumers uh, do struggle to get that type of musk but from here it says that he legally obtained these wild Siberian deer musk grains. Uh, also in the heart we're going to get Moroccan orange blossom, uh, some Australian sandalwood, galbanum, cypress and some spices. And finally the base of the fragrance is traces of green wild agwood oil from Papua New Guinea. Uh, we're going to also get blue cypress, absolute patchouli, crude amber resin oil. Indian clean vetiver and Indian herbal musk utter. So those were the notes of uh, Siberian musk. Have uh, some very natural smelling, very exotic type of note breakdown. But what do we really get on our skin? When I uh, spray this first on, I get a blast of very beautiful, bright citruses. And along with that bright citruses, I also pick up. Uh, this very old school muskiness in the background here. Yeah. This old school muskiness that I pick up, like I've said, has a old school feel and it has a sort of nostalgic feel and quite a, a sense of familiarity like I've smelt something like this before. And the opening with the combination of uh, the bright citruses and the, the musk, uh, the animalic musk that I get uh, the musk is slightly funky and it sort of reminds me of these old school powerhouse fragrances uh, especially like Givenchy Gentleman uh, but don't get it confused this does not smell like Givenchy Gentleman they're both different fragrances uh, but they remind me of each other because I guess they're in the same sort of theme these old school bright powerhouse animalic scents uh, the opening like I've said, you get that musk and it's quite a little bit funky in the opening, very animalic. But the bright citruses that I get in the opening really help to like tame it and calm it down. Uh, especially in the opening, the sort of uh, bright citruses that I get is from the Italian bergamot, the lime. And also I pick up a lot of orange blossom as well in this scent. As the scent develops, it starts becoming quite smooth and the musk starts becoming quite warm on my skin and the warm and quite smooth musk and and there's also with that the warm uh, quite smooth musk this really wet sort of feeling 
uh, citruses and the citruses are really really bright and the sort of citruses that conjure up in my mind are that they're yellow so I get a lot of lemon uh, sort of citruses that I pick up there's not like a, a lime or like an orange but it's more of like a lemony sort of citruses that I pick up and the citrus has like a really wet feel for me into the heart and it works really well with the musk like I said the musk has this smoothness and along with that musk and the citruses in the heart I also pick up some woodsy qualities as well the musk in this has for me like a really comforting sort of feel um, I feel very calm quite relaxed and it just feels very very cozy while I'm wearing it as the scent dries down it keeps this really smooth muskiness uh, that's quite warm quite cozy quite comforting and you keep the citruses unbelievably you keep the citruses from top to the bottom it stays with you these wet bright citruses and deep into the dry down you pick up a little bit of some green pineiness coming as well for me like I've mentioned that this scent has like a an old school feel and has like a sense of familiarity and smelling it I sort of get like a nostalgic feel and I'm not sure if I'm the only one that sort of gets this but every time I wore this uh, Siberian musk and I smelt it and even smelling the top of this fragrance the sprayer it gives me a nostalgic feel it reminds me of my granddad um, and specifically my granddad's blue coat uh, my granddad used to wear this really blue coat and when I was like five years old or six years old he used to take me into town the city centre to do some shopping he used to go to the market here in Coventry and he used to buy like vegetables and he used to buy like fish fresh fish and fresh meat uh, to take home for my grandma to cook and when he used to take me to town he used to wear this really big blue coat and for me smelling this it sort of reminds me of that blue coat like that's how it used to smell and back then at that age I don't think I ever smelled his coat thinking yeah it smells like unbelievable like a perfume but I don't know for some odd reason smelling this perfume sort of reminds me of my granddad's coat so that's the reason I get this like familiarity wearing the scent and the sort of nostalgic feel so that's how this fragrance smells in a nutshell beautiful gorgeous bright citruses uh, quite an animalic musk in the opening that gets really tamed by the citruses into the heart it becomes very smooth very comforting very cozy and the citruses start becoming very wet um, has like a yellowy citrusy feel some touch of woods and of piney greenness in deep into the dry down in terms of performance this is a fragrance I believe you should only wear one spray and that is more than enough and I'm being totally honest one spray of this and you're fine maybe on some other occasions you do one to the chest and maybe one little spray to the middle of the neck and you're all set this is one of the strongest perfumes I have come across uh, longevity I recorded it as being 16 hours on my skin because uh, after 16 hours I fell asleep and I couldn't count how long it went but I'm pretty sure it would have went on for 24 hours or more if I didn't shower in terms of projection it was beastly it just kept going on and on and on uh, it wouldn't stop but it wasn't cloying I really enjoyed it as it was going ahead in terms of uh, seasons because of the bright citruses and because of how it made me sort of feel I would wear this all year round uh, due to the performances uh, performance being so strong some may want to wear this in the winter in the cooler months but for me I'd wear it all year round uh, maybe not in the very hot hot days uh, but I personally would wear it year round uh, I have no problem wearing stronger stuff year round in terms of uh, occasions the type of scent that this is I think it's best worn at a formal setting when you dressed your best uh, but knowing me because of the way it smelled if I had this in my collection I would wear it casually as well and I could also definitely see this as a date scent it might be quite a strange choice for a date for some people but because it has this sort of uh, animalic sort of feel quite cozy quite cool uh, quite warm and very comforting I think it would work really well as a date scent as well overall rating uh, for me guys overall rating it's never been easier to give a fragrance a perfect score of five out of five this is one of the best ever fragrances I have ever smelled uh, and I wish I had a bottle of this this is now discontinued and 
if you are looking to ever see it, it's probably going to be on eBay or one of the groups and it's going to be selling for silly, silly amount of money and I would never pay that much but I feel very, very lucky and privileged to have able to experience this scent. I think it's wonderful, the, the ingredients used, the way it was blended together and the sort of memories it conjured up. Overall, one of the best smelling fragrances I've ever tried and I just pray that we are privileged enough to see more fragrances like this uh, it's a shame we never see fragrances of this quality as much as I would like um, this is a fragrance that's not compliant with Ifra uh, so he's able to use so many ingredients that wouldn't be compliant with Ifra and it's a shame Ifra has come along over these years and ruined so many fragrances and ruined art uh, so to speak but yeah, that was my review of Siberian Musk from Arige Ladori, one of the most beautiful fragrances I have ever had uh, experience in my life. And I wish I was able to experience a perfume of this quality again in the future. Guys, I hope you've enjoyed this review. If you have, then please do leave me a like and a comment below. And until next time, my friends, see you later.